There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Hey, my ass, my love. Hi, mom. You all right? You know I'm doing right. Well, I'm feeling right. Can summary? Are you feeling your oats? Your I'm summary oats. Well, it, weather's been lovely, and it. Mm -hmm. As the public beaches would attest to yesterday. Gera, great people, what are you doing? Come on, Britain. You know, we've just done how long is it now? Now on two months of lockdown and you're going to ruin it just so you can have an overpriced ice cream and, 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 and you know, get poured at by a beagle. Do you know what I mean? It's not on, ma'am. Just so you can have a seagull take a right attitude with you. Exactly. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, there's a oh, lot yeah. of Karen seagulls. I felt right. Summer, hey, look at us. We both got pink hair. Hey, it's like we knew. And that wasn't planned. Mm mm. Oh, see. You know what it is, that man. That oh. umbilical cord may stretch, but at any moment it can yank you back. My asthma. Yeah, love. Be careful that you stay in the centre of, of the screen you see of yourself. Don't forget it squares you off. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, you don't want to be over on edge like that. You look far too pretty to not be seen. Oh, Rude. Rude, love. love. Mm. So, how are you keeping anywhere? I'm all right. Well, you've heard the jib, haven't you? Uh, trouble with the three Ds. Evicted. And at the same time, mm. those vegan guys, lovely though they are, just yeah. said, Actually, what Paul, he said, look, Gemini, your lovely work, which is very important and beautiful, yeah, with your beautiful daughter, my asthma, is getting lost in all our gay stuff about recipes and shopping and being a gay. You know, he says, <laughs> so get it over there, back on your own channel. Start building that one back up. He says, I'll help you. Yeah. He has his helped me the last couple of days. Well, that were good of him. So, no doubt he'll mention channel again, or at least this vlog. Good. When he's on again, do you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I feel you, love. It's an upheaval for us all. I feel like I've outstayed my welcome here. It's not so much what people have said as the notes they've left. What they said, mm -hmm. the notes. You've outstayed your welcome. <laughs> 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 so I'll be making tracks in a few days, love. There's a wheelie bin that's got possibilities a couple of streets over. We've got our own channel now. If we're going to live in this metaphorical digital world, let's pretend that's our new house. Shall I just move into channel? I'll do let's, that. Let's move into channel. Well, we're here, Luke. Oh, yeah. And I've not had to go nowhere climbing through potato peelings. My children can sleep in the warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Children. Have I got grandchildren you've not told me about, love? I mean, possibly. I'm with Boris Johnson on that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? They could be anywhere from here to the Silly Isles. Yeah. Or little miasmas. Faces Plenty. like that. Plenty and several unnamed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, my asthma, I've been looking. You have? At the world. Oh, yes. And I've been dissecting, disseminating. Yeah. What's going on? As What's the on world mm -hmm. showing us at the mm -hmm. moment? What is the world showing us at the moment? Shall I tell you? Go Just on, love. One of the big Go things on. I've noticed. Go on. Us women's have been oppressed mm -hmm. and suppressed for years. Gone are the days when after dinner the men cough to a, some kind of smoking room with the big fat cigars and their egos. Yes. And the women are left to, you know, sip sherry and discuss cotton. Yeah. Gone are those days. Yes. As the fabulous, what is she, Prime Minister, President of New Zealand? Oh, I, yeah. I'm going to call her Jacinda Argonaut. Oh, I like that. Because Jason and the Argonauts 
you know, they were all big. Well, she's like all of them combined. There's no way. You can't smack her in the heel and knock her down. Here's no. a lovely story the other day, my asthma. Go on, love. So, you know that New Zealand is doing well with this. And they've, yeah. not got, <laughs> they've not got so many folks. No, they can not. And they've, they've slowly started to reopen. So, the other day, Jacinda goes to a local cafe. Mm. Just a normal cafe, no poncy thing. Just your local calf, spit and saw, just salt of the earth. And they say to her, because of the social distancing regulations that you've set, we can't fit you in. And she says, it's all right, I'll wait. Good for her. And she waits 15 minutes while there's folk in the cafe tweeting about it. But what I thought the story told was, she's just a... She's, she she's a true leader in mm -hmm. that she's leading by example mm -hmm. she's setting an incredible example mm -hmm. and she has no airs and graces good good and in it, in it a refreshing change to see because the thought what leaders should be us but do you know it's a very similar case in germany angela merkel oh yes that has proven herself to be an exemplary leader and right. i think if anybody's got the time to do it, if you just compare the stats, the infections, the death rates, the, the lockdown time, all of that, I know that Germany has eased it recently and it started to creep up again. Mm -hmm. What they did at first was brilliant. Mm -hmm. so, and then we've got the orange one. If you've seen our last vlog, you know what that's a reference to. Would he queue at a cafe? Would he buffalo? Do you know what he'd do? The dirty beggar. He'd send one of his aides out, that's aides with an E, um, to like grab a pheasant and then just chew on it, wouldn't he? Like the dirty filth what he is, that's what he'd do. No, no, fe pheasant. Pheasant's far too pretentious for Trump. He's a red meat man, isn't he? Oh, sorry, I thought we were on Bojo. He's a murder cow. No, because he's not orange. That's true. He's more sepia. He's more yellow. Yeah, that's true. Cause, that. cause he's, he's, he's a coward. He hides behind his, uh, his Eton mm -hmm. or wherever the bloody hell he went and all the friends that, that he's got in there. And have you seen them all? They're all like petulant little children. They all look like their cousins have been marrying for at least six generations. I'm not being funny. They're all like this. And they've messed up majorly in this yeah. country. Yeah. They? And the worst of it is, love, the worst of it is looking at it as well. You can tell they don't care because they'll be all right. <laughs> You've got such a northern act. Looking, tell they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care, they don't know, do they? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, it's they'll not. be all right. Of course, of course. They're it's all the families, aren't they? They're all, you know, it's the Oxford chain. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they've actually, none of them, none of them, America, you know, uh, Britain, Russia, South America, the, the only decent male leader that I'm kind of aware of right now is Justin Trudeau. Oh, Canada, yeah. Yeah, I've always thought Canada represents what the UK could be if it did a lot of things better. And, no. and what America should be. Yes. Because, I mean, all of that, it's this... I'm surprised we haven't learned yet, and I'm sure that if people knew someone who did it, they'd be scared to confront them about it. But I've seen all these um, videos of big protests in America, mm -hmm. um, in states where they've got a lockdown, and it's just all this, USA, USA, but really aggressively, and it's like, what exactly are you, are you chanting that you want to die? Mm -hmm. that you want to risk other people's lives or that you're just so obsessed with this USA mantra, USA is the best, the biggest, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. you can't tell us what to do. Yeah. What, even if it saves your life? 
Well, this is the thing, isn't it? It's come to such a thing that people would rather die than admit they were wrong. You know, there's a great meme I saw on Twitter, which is two gravestones and voices floating up from the gravestones. And one of them says, we showed them libs. <laughs> and everyone's like, sure did. And I'm like, yeah, but you're dead now, aren't you, Carol? In Look, your grave. Hmm? Oh, I tell you what, I'm fit to busting in this blouse. And it warm, and it warm. I can't lie, I can't lie, my have I've put a good few pounds on in this lockdown. Have you, love? You don't look it. I've been eating plenty. No, it's all gone here, thankfully. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> you got a proper ice, it's all water. <laughs> no, I have, I've been eating, I, 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 I it's, um, I was very lucky, you see, Paul's been doing the shopping, but he went shopping the other day, mm. and uh, he resisted getting vegan magnums even though they were on offer oh well done paul i was proud of him because you know it affects us both you know we're like twins me and paul yeah he yeah. eats pie i put a pound on you know what yeah. i'm saying it's not on is it it's not it's fair not, not really not fair at all so i'll tell you what my asthma go on love i quite like it here in the digital cyberspace. Yeah, and I like all the stuff that, you know, there's all these lists and everything. And it's true. We're not getting lost amongst stuff because it's just us. Yeah. Doing well, us things. Still here. I'm still standing. Hey, and we've got all sorts, you know, we've got we've got Pride Performance Playlist. What do you want, cat? Hello. Hello. I, I don't think the door's quite wide enough for her to get in. Oh, uh, that'll be the lockdown. It's managed, though. She'll mourn for two minutes and then get in. I don't know yeah. why Paul puts up with you. There's an queer as folk, is there? Do you know what I mean? What were I saying? <laughs> we're even important. Pride playlist, and then we did a gesture like this. Oh, yeah, so the, yeah, there's a pride playlist. Mm. I know that we're transferring over the cooking videos we did. Oh. There's only two here at the moment, but there's there's more on the way. There's a full review season of the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race, which is my, and it's scary when you look back on it. Mm. If you watch, because don't forget, now this series is called Ladies in Lockdown, which is indeed what we are. Indeed. When it started, it was Frock the Fortnite. It was. We started on January the 10th. So we did like January the 10th, January the 24th, February the 11th, like every two weeks. And our last is, is, is the rub. <clears throat> it's right scary. It's right funny and all. Go on. On the last day that we were physically together, March the 5th, 2020, not only did we film an episode of Frock the Fortnight, episode five of Frock the Fortnight, we let Paul and Stuart film a live makeup tutorial that very same day. It's like we knew we needed the memories to keep us going. Talk about Theron. Talk about <laughs> I tried to do some of that and it didn't work. <laughs> oh, speaking of, speaking of Drag Race, have you seen the Vivian who won Drag Race UK one? Sorry, spoilers, but it was ages ago. Get a grip. Um, she's released her debut single. Oh, is that any good? It's all right. Yeah, I really like it. Um, it's like a, it's like a dancey one. I could see people in the clubs like, you know, dancing. Uh, uh, that's going to be the market for it, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. Good for her, though. Good for oh, her. Absolutely. She's got a cracking voice. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why the hell not? I mean, as far back as Lily Savage, before Lily Savage made it like big on the telly, yeah. she was just um, a drag act. Yeah. Wrong she, heaven, yeah. She brought out a song, a mm -hmm. dance song, in the early 90s called It's Tough at the Top. Yes. Tough at the top. It's tough at the top. I climb my way up the ladder. 
It's top at the top, but I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop, I'm a scouse. That last line, I made that up. We're gonna start with that the remix. <laughs> oh, I hope she's all right. I wonder how she's doing in lockdown. Mind you, she's got the animals, has not she, so? Well, not so long back, the dog she'd had for ages and ages died, because I remember seeing a clip of it on YouTube, it was the end of her chat show. Oh, yeah. The crew had put together a little, like, um, in memoriam. Oh, bless. Video, and she had to leave. She said... You can understand uh, it, though, can't you? Yeah, she said, they've put this video together, but if you don't, I can't. I can't watch it, so I'll see you next time. And off she went. And I, she, she's she's one of those people. It's a wonder she's not vegan, actually. She loves animals. Yeah, she does. She's always well, doing stuff about them, isn't she? Yeah, she loves cats so very much. I'd, I'd love it if she extended that to all all sentient beings, but who wouldn't? It's true. It's, it's true, mean. that. True as chips. It's true as cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh, and as well, while we're on the subject of fellow queens and so on and so forth, so the current series of me, 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 me is coming to an end shortly, and they've officially announced they're going to do the finale on Zoom. I know! That's Which... kind of fascinating. I'm loving that, actually. Mm. I, I mean, every, every, but I take me and Jason, oh, sorry, Paul and Jason, <laughs> they watch a programme from America called Survivor. Oh, yeah. And they had to do their finale by, mm. by Zoom this time. It was brilliantly done, though. Everyone's yeah. the same thing now. They have to do, look at us! So the queens in a box. Yeah. That's gonna be a thing, in it? I can see it coming a mile off. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, they're going to do the Reunited. Apparently, the reunion show is from their homes as well because they haven't filmed that yet. Wow. And That's of course, going to be the there's only three now. Now, I was a little bit upset with that because I thought that because... Sherry Pie. ...had gone. Yeah. Maybe they should have allowed Jackie in the final four. Yeah. Or maybe I, even at least add Heidi and Jackie go head to head to see who was going to be in the final four. You know. But I don't know, love. I don't know what's going to go on. Um, who can set? And it's a, in, in, you know, I don't know. I don't even know who I want to win, to be honest. Well, I think I do, actually. Oh. I'd like, if I had my way, what? I'd like Crystal to win. Okay, yeah, do you know what? Actually, mm. Stuart, <gasps> what's going on with me today? I'm very confused. <laughs> it's because it, I just saw him in background, he went by. Oh, yeah, he'll be picking that puff up that I threw earlier. Aaron, his name is. Um, what were we saying then? The Crystal. <laughs> yes, last few weeks. She's she's grown on me massively, yeah, massively, um, and I think I mean, I mean it's kind of an unfair advantage because we get to see the queens as they are as people. Now I'm far more prone to fall in love with the person as the person they are, including the queen they are, than just the queen they are. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you want to see that human quality, don't you? Well, see, I loved Gigi at first, and I still do, but not half as much as I did right at the very first. And that's not because she's shown herself to be anything like nasty or mm. anything. I just think she's quite limited in I her think, repertoire. I it think she did like... very well early on. And yes. it just so happened that a lot of the things that came early were things that she was very good at. Well... I think she's very good at looking pretty. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's gorgeous. There's no getting away from it, is there, you know? Take that back a bit like that. Oh! Oh, I've changed shot, Karen. Hi, oh. a midi. 
I've gone a bit wider. Lockdown. It's nice to be a bit wider, you know. Folk can see you. And I've always see. said that. Well, you've always been quite wide, haven't you? Sorry. No. I am really froze. I am really froze. I was just tricking you. <laughs> a comic I, effect. I knew. Let's have a look at this dress you've got on. Would you like it? Hang on. It's just little. Oh, it's lovely, actually. I mean, it, it's like it's like the it's like the skin tight, lovely version of our bridesmaids' dresses. Yes, it's like yeah. If if our bridesmaids' dresses had been in the eighties and then they went on a, I'm making this far too complicated. They went on a reality show where you had to update an outfit from the eighties. I think you covered it, to be honest. I don't know why I started down that path. Because you just wanted to talk, love. And do you know Probably. what? There's nothing wrong with that. That's true. At all. But, but yeah, but it's, it's nice as well, because like, these are our bridesmaids flowers on my wrist. And it's yeah. nice to think of times we were together in the same space, in it, doing our thing. I've got, I've got other flowers on my wrist. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely. Don't all get many kinds of flowers and summery things. No, it's gorgeous, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, oh, so yeah. I've, yeah. Heard, I've heard this thing, and I thought it was right. I wish I knew the fella's name, but I'm, alas, I don't. I'm sorry. But okay. The guy, the guy that... Um, the guy who wrote or wrote and directed God's Own Country. Oh, yeah. You know, the gay film. Yes. Have you seen it? I've seen it. Now I thought it was marvellous. I, I, I really liked it. Yeah, yeah I thought it was really good. It was I thought it was good. much better than Call Me By on that shit. Sorry, I will look at that line. Um, I thought it was... Well, you can't compare, but I much preferred it to Call Me By Your Name. Oh, now I've not seen that one. Yeah, all right. A lot of wind. No, I, haven't. I haven't seen that one. Anyway, so his film's on Amazon. Yes. Apparently, they've edited out the sex scenes. What, without even asking? Without even asking. So he's put a tweet out. I read this in the Pink News just yesterday. He's put a tweet out asking people not to watch the film on that platform. Well, then I won't. Neither will I. No, but it's not you, though. I mean, um, why, why how are they you? Out gay sex scenes? Yeah. Not even a fax. My asthma. Mm. I wonder. I wonder if we, if we could sing a song together, and it'd work. Should we try? What should we sing? Right. I, hang on a minute. First, say, say, no. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to time it. Um, oh yeah, yeah, right. Um, seems like everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night when the sale comes first and the truth comes just second. Just stop for a minute, smile. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Can you feel it? Right? Yeah, we're praying with love, love tonight. tonight. You didn't know about the money. <laughs> It'd just be interesting to see how that works side by side. Yeah, for future reference, definitely. Yeah. Now, is is here's another thing I was thinking. And hmm. people that watch this can let us know down there whether this is something they that they'd be interested in because it seems a shame to get all dolled up mm -hmm. for just one little kind of video on you know on on the so i thought wouldn't it be interesting if we did other things like for example now we're back on his own channel I'd like to hear my asthma's origin story. Oh? As my asthma. Oh. 
I'm sure some people might like to hear Gemini's origin story from Gemini. Never mind your second-hand historians, yeah? So, maybe next time you see, we could have us chat, and then we could just film a little, you know, like five or ten minute segment. What are you doing? What's all this for? I was trying to look interested, sorry. Like A five or ten minute segment. Uh, thought I'd lift lap laptop up and show you around a bit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Make that cyberspace, isn't it? I wish me tur me turquoise had show. Look, I've turquoise in the air. <gasps> Look at you. But it doesn't you know show. Don't show proper. Leaving the three Ds has been the making of you, Mum. That turquoise, beautiful, beautiful. I didn't trick you. I thought I might. Oh, well, I was I was sort of she's only messing here and then I was like, Oh, is she actually froze, but <laughs> Um but yeah, no, I like turquoise. Is it just is it all around the back? Is it just like Yeah. 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 No, I like it. I like it a lot. Look. Oh yeah. Lovely. But it just gets hidden by the pink. But you know, so so I favour a candy floss. Oh. How lovely. It reminds One me of the pink. Did you say one in the pink? I thought you did. Not proud. <laughs> Two in the stink. Oh, it were awful. Oh, she went there. Oh, she went there. <laughs> awful it was. Yeah, isn't that terrible, though, about that fella's film? Oh, no. Well, it's like having... It'd be like if you'd done a painting, yeah, and then somebody went into the gallery and went, actually and then just cut out like a square from the corner and said, we're not having that. They know it would. You're <laughs> right. I thought you were like, shut up, that's stupid. <laughs> no, 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 I was like, yeah, you're right. That's you exactly. know, but you know, without any, you know, uh, what do you call it? Apparently, so not even asking permission, not even informing him, oh. And it's not as if Amazon is like a children's platform. Look how moved she is. Look how moved she is. <laughs> really desperately moved. But, yes, it's like, I can't see any justification for that. There's far more explicit things on Amazon Prime. Oh, but, speaking of Amazon Prime, mm. I've been watching two new series on there, you know. Oh, I've been watching, what I've been watching. One's called Tales from the Loop. Oh, I've not heard of that. What's that about? It's very interesting. It's about a town mm. with a place in it where everybody works called The Loop. Okay. But there's magic and mystery everywhere. Okay. And robots. It's it's a proper fantasy series, but it's brilliant. Honestly, it's really, really good. What was that fella called who was in Brazil? The movie. I was gonna say that I was like probably thousands. <laughs> um so I'll look it up. Oh go on, my asthma, you're always good with your fingers. That's my funny can attest. <laughs> I'm so sorry, people. That was horrible. Brazil film. Oh, was it Jonathan Price? Yes, he's yes. The, he's the kind of boss of the loop. Oh, okay. He's, he oh. does have a boss quality. So I don't want to give kind of any more away. Mm. It's very. Um, it reveals itself to you as you watch it, and we're only. Uh, Episode two. Okay. But oh, very good. I've enjoyed that this time has given me more time to enjoy mm -hmm. creations that have already been made. You know, good series. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
the other one is um, Upload. Not heard of that neither. Kind of funny. What's that one about? It's about a place called Upload where you can upload yourself. Oh, yeah. Just before you die. And it's like a, you get uploaded into a kind of database, but you live in a beautiful hotel near a lake. F food's automatically there for you. But it's the wealthy. It's very much like this world. The wealthier at the top. Oh. What? The, me, me, your, your screen's just gone little and gone in corner. Has it? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it don't matter. You're still big as well, so that's fine. Anyway, so yeah, the people who are very rich can afford the top tier in Upload. Right, okay. But then there are people that have only got two gigabytes available to them every month. So they might live there for a month in yeah. consciousness, in a room, but only have a view for an hour in that month. Oh, okay. It's very, but it's a comedy, believe it or not. Oh, okay. And it's about a guy who's with a pretty manipulative rich girl. And he has a car crash. Mm -hmm. The mysterious circumstances. Because it's an automatic car. Okay. Cheesy, it's an automatic car. Mm. Um, he gets rushed to hospital. And the, the, she says, you can go to upload if you want. Just sign, I'll pay for it. I, I don't want you to die. Then we can be together forever. Oh, that sounds like, epic. Forever, that's a really long time. Anyway, it turns out, just before his head got lasered off and he got sent to upload, his vital signs were going up. He weren't dying. There's a, so it's so a, much gone on there, hasn't it? It's yeah. A, drama but it's very well made the lead guy is a pleasure to the eyes oh good his best mate's a pleasure to the eyes in these troubled uh, times it's, it's a good cast well written story um and the lead angel is gorgeous she's beautiful oh well i might give that a go you know honestly it's, it's funny it's funny but i also highly recommend tales from the loop mm. beautiful series so far well, Oh, well, good. I'm glad to hear it. I've got two recommendations, Miss Sen. Do we? One is, caught, is on the Netflix. Hi. And it's called um, The Big Flower Fight. Oh. And it's like, um, it's a bit, it depends if you're into this as to whether you like it, but it's a bit like the Sewing Bee or the Bake Off, but with flowers. Oh, but they do, do really you, elaborate landscapes. You love a, a show like that, don't you? Love a show like that, mate. Do you know who else does? Who? Paul's mother. Joan would love it. She likes that portrait one and all. Oh, the portrait artist of the year thing. Yeah, I've seen that. I weren't as keen on that one. No. No, I think I like it when people make things out of things that are potentially messy. Mind you, I suppose paint is. But um, anyway. But yeah. No, it was good. The other day they made a right big fly and it was beautiful. Anyway. There's a couple of gays on there, obs, it's flowers. A big fly? Yeah, so one of the briefs where they had to make, like, insects or wildlife all out of flowers, but, like, huge versions to go in a big garden, and they'd done a fly. It was like that. Were it horrible? It was kind of horrible and kind of nice at the same time, a bit like Amanda Holden. Oh my asthma, why would you say this about a nice lady? <laughs> I don't really mean it, I quite like Amanda Holden. She's alright, isn't she? She's alright, she'll do. But um, oh, just... the other one is a little movie called Spectrum, with which Stuart is in, and he's now on Amazon Prime. Oh, I've heard, now, not watched this yet, but I've heard about it. Good. Uh, it's, it's 40 minutes, isn't it? 39 minutes. Yeah, that's right. 39 minutes. It's all. It's like a bit of an anthology of one night out on Canal Street in Manchester and all the different characters that populate it. And what's it called? Spectrum. Spectrum, yes. Get yeah, that watched on Amazon Prime, you mucky lot. 
and then go and tell that Stuart on the library's open. Link down there in the description always. So yeah, all dressed up and nowhere to go. The only place I've got to go after here, my asthma. Yeah. Spa. You got to go to spa. I've got nothing to do. Have you not? No, I've nothing to do. Well, mm, I have. I've bits, but nothing, you know, that can probably wait. I'll just be sort of milling around the house like this. You know, pushing things and I get, I get you, my love. Okay. So, well, this is the first episode. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the first episode of our lovely chat series <laughs> on on our new channel. Well, new old channel. I mean, it was very nice of those vegan guys to let us stay with them on their channel for a while because oh, what it did was it gave us um, it gave us a bit more exposure. Yeah, a hearth and a home. You know, but it's nice to be back in his own space. I quite like it, mate. I feel like I can, you know, say what I like. I can do what I want. Shave your boobs if you want. I could do. I could rock on my knees. I'm on my knees at the moment. It's not pleasant. Oh, no. Shut up in the comments. Uh, <laughs> before you all start. But, um, but yeah. Oof. Have we but, got anything important we could discuss? You know what I mean? I mean, there's all this. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm sick of talking about the Shmarona shm shm shmiras. Because <laughs> it's just like. It's like, it's like, I feel like we're on pause, mm. but then you're watching life go on with all these numpties and you're like, yeah. how long are you going to extend this for? So it just gets a bit tedious, doesn't it? Yeah, after a while. You can sort of forget for a day or so almost sometimes. I don't mean forget completely, but then it'll just hit you, won't it? Like a ton of bricks, like. And can you believe this um, surcharge for the, the, the NHS uh, is, Keir Starmer brought it up, that they're charging um, um, foreign nationals. Is that the right way to say it? Foreign I nationals? think so, yeah. People who live and work here now, but are not from here originally, I think mm -hmm. foreign nationals, who work front in line in the health service, mm -hmm. get charged a surcharge to use the NHS. They're still they're paying their tax and insurance, national insurance. I thought that's what that was for. Talk about smacking someone in the face as well. It's like, what, what? So... We clap on a Thursday and hold our hand out on a Friday. Yeah. So when I'll... chances are they've contracted anything they'd need treatment from in the line of looking after other people. And then we're going to charge them if they need looking after. Filth. 600, well, it's 400 and odd pound a year now, but it's going up to 600 and odd. Now, have you, got spare, have you got a spare 50 pound a month to just give away? I got a spare tenner to give away a month. You know, it's becoming like America. Health lottery, isn't it? You yeah. Can um, they say, I mean, I feel bad for the people in America, to be honest. I mean, not only have they got Trump to deal with, they've got a load of numpty... Well, do you know, you can't even... You can't even separate the issues off anymore. That's the no. bit about, about it. Because you can say, oh, they're kicking off in America and the you know, the, I think the only difference is they're going with guns. Yeah, that's the only difference that I know of. But Hyde Park was full a few days ago, weren't it, in London? Mm. A load of people protesting against a vaccine and the lockdown. Mentals. I'm not being funny, and I don't say that lightly. Absolute mentals. I wonder if they had this when they like years ago when they were working on the polio vaccine. Did they have people saying down with vaccines? Uh, don't have them. 
Mm. Well, I mean, there have always been a lot of anti-vaxxers, haven't there? But with this one in particular, well, it's all got tied up with this stupid issue about 5G and stuff, hasn't it? It's like, Karen, come on. I can't. Honestly, I can't. Um, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just appalled by, like, these people are allowed to vote. That's all I'll say. These people are allowed to vote. But here's the rub. Go on. I am in no way, just hear me out for a second. We all say, like, people like that, I wish they were gone from society. We're talking about eugenics. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not that far. But how does society cope with masses of people who don't pay attention to science and facts and reality and don't have a sense of responsibility and don't take any ownership for their own actions? How does a, how does a society deal with people like that? Well, I'll tell you something else that's giving on my nerves, my asthma. Go on, Re love. Really, really bad. The fact that <clears throat> you can tell how little it happens by how, how much it's highlighted when it does happen. So you've got that beautiful uh, black woman news reporter in America. She was at a press conference a couple of months ago. She asked very valid questions about Trump. And he, you know, he, he basically called her nasty and nasty question and da, 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 da. She just carried on asking the question. Why aren't they all doing that? All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. The all media all across the world right now needs to grow some balls, some actual balls. Oh, that's a very male term, isn't it? Needs to grow get some... Get some tenacity. Yeah, get some courage and don't take bullshit for an answer and don't allow somebody to speak down to you just because they're on some fake pedestal that society imagined a couple of centuries ago you know trump is one of the da the most dangerous men in the world I right agree. now we'll try and deflect and go oh kim jong-un bolsonaro and it's like no mate it's you because america was a beacon to the world. Mm -hmm. It was. No, I agree. And it's, since Bush, really, Obama almost brought it back. Almost. And now Trump has erased... Well, he's trying to erase the legacy of Obama for us. He hates the fact, he hates the fact that a black man is, yeah. is, is a more popular president than he will ever be. Absolutely. He hates it and so he's running the country on narcissism jingoism cronyism mm. Mm. and uh, addiction to wealth yeah all that do hickory mm. no it's true you're not wrong and uh, you know what what the journalists and we all need to remember this as well sometimes as well as these people work for you yes I've got another I've got another thing though, my asthma. Go on, love. I, I think it's a very important acknowledgement. It's usually minority reporters that have got the balls that are first being bullied, bullied mm. by a president. Oh yeah. It's, it's them that have the balls to stand up and say, and carry on asking the question. Or like that, um, the one not not so long back where the, uh, the uh, Chinese-American reporter. Yes, 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 yes. He said, um, ask China, ask China that question. Jane. And she said, why are you saying that to me specifically? And I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. Why aren't... See, the thing about white privilege is most people don't see that they've got it. Mm -hmm. And too many people don't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. In the good right... Point, good point. In the right... If we're privileged and white, 
don't take shit from Boris or Trump. Mm -hmm. If they are, if you know that they answer that the answer to the question is bullshit or deflective or bullying or nonsensical, call it out. Yeah, stand because, up for those people who don't have the the ability to do that. Exactly, because mm -hmm. these. These others, these minority reporters are bolstering that whole movement at the moment and yep. most of you are just standing by and watching. Yeah. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? All these journalists and so on and so forth, and I do use the term lightly. <laughs> I don't know what a lot of them are doing at the moment because it isn't journalism. It's an example which doesn't seem like it, it has a bearing, but it does. My friend Callum, right, was on Tipping Point five years ago in the Daily Express yesterday, there was an article about his appearance on Tipping Point five years ago. In light of everything that's happening in the world and the investigative reporting that should be going on and the questioning of government officials, both here and abroad, why is someone being commissioned to write an article about a programme that aired five years ago? As though it's just happened. Why did The Guardian post a video on YouTube that they somehow got a hold of, of Ahmed Aubrey, the young black man who was shot by two hillbillies yes. recently? Mm -hmm. A video of him from 2017 mm -hmm. being bullied by the police I know, I, I know why they posted it, because he's got what some would call a typical young black attitude right. in the video. Okay. More than justifiable. He's just in his car, they search him, he's got nothing, they try tasing him, make him get on the ground, uh, ask him... He asks them, what are you doing? What do you want, yeah. He does say it angrily. Is every right to say it angrily? Yeah. Um, like, oh, well, this is an area known for drugs. And he's like, man, I haven't got any drugs on me. I'm just at the park. And Yeah. But The Guardian released it. I know why they released it. They released it as, ah, see, he was a bad egg. When actually, what the video shows is that the police were wrong. And he wasn't a bad egg at all. You can't. It's like it's like this whole thing. It's too many people judge on the attitude of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. It's not what he said. It's the way he said it. Fuck off. Yeah. With that bullshit. Yeah. I'm saying what, this like yeah. this now. Mm. What you're saying to me when you say things like that is, oh, you're a crybaby. Like in Parliament the other week, weren't it, when what's-his-face, uh, uh, Thingy Hancock was like, watch your tone. I'm like, who do you think you are telling people to watch their tone? Well, he got a bollock in the Speaker of the House. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was great. He was just like, Did you see him with his ass folded? Yeah. <clears throat> like a petulant child. Like a grumpy little boy. Yeah. Uh. That's all they are. Why aren't, right, so why aren't, why, if we can see it, if we can see that really clearly, mm -hmm. why can't everybody? If everybody can really clearly, why aren't the media making sure that they reflect that we see that? Mm -hmm. Why do, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, occasionally you'll you'll see an article or a YouTube snippet, and someone will say, "Look at this man acting like a petulant child." Yeah. Could, Call it what it is. Yeah, call it like you see it. Doesn't matter who it is. They're acting like a kid. They're behaving ridiculously. Call them out. I mean, for the love of everything that's holy and sacred, the man you voted for the Prime Minister hid in a fridge. He also washed his hands like a muppet. Uh, said he was going to shake hands with people with coronavirus and then did so. 
mm-hmm. um, continues to charge uh, frontline workers in excess. Uh, and when he was called out by Keir Starmer, by the way, did you did you notice that it wasn't the person thing that he tried to? He didn't even say we know that this can be tough, but what he said was those fees bring in a huge amount of money and we need it. That's basically. Here's one. Here's one for you, Boris. Don't renew Triton. It's a waste, money you want. waste of money, billions of pounds on weapons that can never be used. Barbara Streisand said it in a garden concert in the late 80s or early 90s. She was talking about the um, the nuclear accident about Chernobyl. Oh, yeah. When it first happened and saying, let's not forget that when that happened, we in America suddenly had to, oh, no, we're not in America, this is what she said. We in America suddenly had to watch, be careful about eating potatoes from Idaho or mm. apples from Oregon. And this happened miles and miles and miles away. Have we not learned our lesson yet about nuclear stuff? We Weapons that can never be used. And I get this whole thing about, I think we're all, every, every country, every human, we're all so defensive. I need my gun, otherwise how can I defend myself? Yeah. We need these billion dollar weapons that can never be used, these million pound weapons that can never be used, because if we don't have them, somebody might shoot at us. Mm. Isn't it a sorry state to be in? But it's like logic would tell you, though, that if they do, you won't need them anyway. It's the mutually assured destruction of millions of people. Oh. Now, if someone were to send a bomb over here, I'd quite like to know we haven't sent one back and done the same thing to hundreds of thousands of innocent people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's childish, isn't it? Because it's basically like saying, oh, well, if I'm going to die, you are as well. Or if I don't get things, you're not having them either. Reach, girl. Wake up, stupid people. Wake up! I say it before, I say it again. Where's that powder? I don't know, I'm gone where. Say wake up again. Wake up! That were all the people. All the poor people, where do they all come from? All the throne puff people, where do they all come from? That was spooky. Yeah, it was meant to be at the end. It was good, though. It was good. Glad you liked it, love. Oh. So, we'll have fun. We'll have some folk watching this video and saying, oh, I can never get enough of you two. And then others like will watch for 10 minutes and be like, right, well, I'm bored. It's too long for me that. You can't please everybody. You can't. And you know what? If that's you, watch 10 minutes. Give it a like. You've done your duty. Cheers. And then come back when you want yeah. to watch another 10 minutes because we've talked about some very important, very crucial matters in this yeah. world we live in today. You know what I mean? And We're we still here. We're still talking. Glum times and bum times, I've seen them all, and my dear, I'm still here. Blood smells and sometimes, sometimes, sometimes and beer, beer, but I'm, I'm here. here. Love it. I do, I love that song. We'll, we'll, be, we'll add that to our set when we finally get out of, um, out of this. Definitely. I start. People will cry. It'll be great. COVID-19. Oh, I swear. I'm in lockdown. Socially isolating. Oh, I just did a death drop then and you missed it. I loved it. I saw it. I saw it. It was it were like it was in slow motion. It was gorgeous. Thanks, Paul. Can I grow my lipstick on my cup? Oh, no. What a waste. For just £2 a month. You could donate to our lipstick fund. <laughs> hey, we should set up a Patreon at some point, me and B. Oh, yeah. I'll do extra content. We will do. 
I'd rather be blue thinking of you. I'd rather be blue over you than be happy with somebody else. I weren't ready then, but I had to go. And I enjoyed it. Oh, do you know that looks nice up? I saw that updo. Yeah. Yeah. Updo. Up with maybe a couple of side struggles. Yeah. Just you know, just like thinner than that, Karen. Thinner than... Well, they're quite thick, me pieces. <laughs> Hang on. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, let's bring this one to a close because it's been our first one for our new, our new channel. We're already on 55 minutes. Folk will be gone. We'll be gone. We'll be gone. And for those of you that have stayed and watched, e hey, thanks, love. Thank you. We do appreciate uh, it. Down there in the description, you'll find a link to um, those vegan guys, our dear friends. You'll find a link to the library is open, run by the lovely Stuart. You'll find a link to Actor Reactor, that's Paul's channel on his own. And you'll find a link to Jason Bromley Music. All down there in the description. And of course, our socials are linked down there. All the stuff, you know, all bits. All bits and things, what you might like to look at of the day. Exactly. All bits and things. That's, I'm so beautiful. That's going, be, that's going to be the thumbnail. I know, because I, I know what you like. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Your so let us know down there, everybody, if you would like us to uh, tell our, our little origin stories. Yes. Um, but uh, we're back doing this once a fortnight, ladies in lockdown, discussing mm -hmm. news and the world, having a sing song, showing us boobs, all the stuff we like doing, you know. <laughs> any any final words, my asthma? Um, oh, that's a plump bull. Um no, just thanks for watching. And oh yeah, if you have got any problems or issues or questions you want to ask, don't forget you can you can uh, Facebook us or leave a comment if you don't mind being non-anonymous, non-anonymized, and we'll try and get to them next time. Look at her, she's the Barbarella of all of them. Barbarella psychedella, there's a candy cotton shell about you. Barbarella, ba Barbarella. I love that song. It's a great song. You look what you've got well. me doing. You are. Look what you've got me doing. Going on my boobs out and everything's ripped. Your boobs. I won't have any more of it. Thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> Marvellous love. I like Jay hey. Lee then. <laughs> right, I'll see you in uh, I'll see you in one of our playlists down there, love on Mecca's a brew. Oh thanks, love. That'd be great. Right. Thanks. You love get you. your comfies on and I'll see you in a bit. Can't wait. <laughs> love ya. Love you too. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.